NXT lightweight division bout. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, he's got a key to the city of Lafayette, Louisiana, but with the present company, Daniel Cormier here, I'm not sure I'm gonna go so far as to call him the king of Lafayette, but Dustin Poirier has become a UFC champion and he remains one of the best lightweights in the world. If he's not the king of Lafayette, he's one of the kings of the UFC's lightweight division. A phenomenal striker, has such great boxing, big, strong, long arms, and an ability to fight through so much adversity to try and accomplish his goals. He's one of the most exciting fighters in the lightweight division, but also has the ability to knock you out and just outgrind you over 25 minutes. And at times competing as a featherweight, he was almost a victim of his own success. He did so well that he stayed down there. Of course, since moving up to 155 pounds, he has put his best foot forward, and he draws yet another elite lightweight in this spot tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Iron Michael Chandler. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Dustin the Diamond Poirier! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's going to be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Ooh, blocks the shot. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch him the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Ooh, what a punch. 
Fourier gets caught by that frustrate punch. Nice job by the offense there. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taken so many strikes to the head. Nice shot to the body there. Right hook to the head blocked. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, collar tie. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. The uppercut flails and misses. Ooh, what a punch. We cross the midpoint in round one. Oh, how good is that Poirier jab? He's got huge hands and certainly was able to find the home for his jab there. I mean, the king of Lafayette has got it going tonight. Dustin Poirier fights in the southpaw, but he's a right-handed guy. That's why that jab does so much damage to his opponent. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Whoa! Oh! Big shot lands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That shot blocked by Poirier. All right, single collar tie now. Defensively, as he blocks the shot. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. That's a big strike right there. Let's get some offense. Let's get All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Well, missed on that one. Ten seconds to go. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Five minutes in the books. All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. Nice strike. Over and over, he landed his big body kicks. All 
right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. And they separate. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Huge block there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Just over three minutes to go. It's big ball from land. Now we'll get back to range. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hit the skate. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu. Guillotine attempt now looks as though he's got the neck. Watch guillotine. He might get a finish here. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Gets side mount, and now maybe the Von Flu choke will be there. Oven St. Pru has got to like that transition there. Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 16 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, Iron Michael Chang! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.